One, two, three. One, two, three. And hello, fellows. Hero gone here. Today is Thursday, June 8th of 2023, and it's now 6.33 p.m. Eastern Time, and right now things have been going pretty okay for a while. Heck, today I actually found out that Sega's releasing a new Sonic the Hedgehog game called Sonic Superstars. If you want to know more about that, I'd suggest doing a Google search of Sonic Superstars. As uh, I won't be mentioning that myself, just uh, doing the usual old rundown of how my past few days have gone, and yeah, I'm still at doing the whole deal of ACT studying, most particularly with the math side of things, seeing as there's a lot of formulas with regards to math, whether it's algebra or even trigonometry at times. Now, with that sort of stuff out of the way. Let's get into this week's improvements for the fighting game framework. Credit goes to Sean Lebro for his tutorials as well as his videos for the fighting game framework. He's got plenty more frameworks where that comes from. Whether it's a Smash Bros, Action RPG, or even first-person shooters. Now, going into this week, I had... Sean has creating auto combos. Now, if you know about combo systems, you can probably have some kind of auto combo where it will automatically combo by spamming a certain button, no matter what. One particular combo of sorts would probably be, for example, the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite game, where if you keep on pressing the punch button many times, you'll end up going into air combo, and you can keep on pressing, spamming the punch button, and sometimes it will, how do you put put out a different punching animation. Another example of sorts would be Sonic Frontiers with the typical punch, kick, punch, kick, then a certain move depending on which way you're tilting the joystick. Now with the Sean's own framework, it's easy enough. Right here now we have ourselves that auto combo as you saw. So let's get into my particular copy and what I had to do to add this stuff. First in the uh, header file which is uh, .h, I had to add a few things in auto combo. F command and a boolean of has auto combo and then an integer of auto combo level, which is the current level of the auto combo, based on how many attacks have landed and how many times the input's been pressed without exiting the input of the auto combo. Easy enough, of course. Now, where auto has auto combo boolean is, is within the F command structure. And then, in our .cpp file, which is our main C++ stuff, oops, we go into two other areas. We set our auto combo level to zero as the default, with, along with a lot of the other default values. And then we go into the receive damage function. Now, in a certain spot, we'll continue to go down, and here we have if other player. Now, if other player last command used dot has auto combo, 
Then we want to increment that auto combo level, continually adding to it for as long as we can. After that, we go through the typical logic of has landed hit equals true, performing our pushback by the amount 0.0f and false, and if, as well as our if other player star mount is less than 1.0f, no, it's greater than, greater than. And then other player star mount will, star mirror mount will equal 1.0f. Easy enough. After I compiled that, of course, we, there's plenty of places I, we need to go, or rather I needed to go for um, Sean's video. I had to add a, uh, has auto combo booleans with this data table structure in, which is right here, the F command details, which is easy enough to make. You go down into miscellaneous, then actually you want to go to blueprint, then create the struct right here, and it's easy enough. Now, of course, once you, once I added has auto combo, I have, I now have a new thing right here, has auto combo. For the light punch, I'm going to set it to true at the moment. And we also want to use can cancel as well. Now, within the base character blueprint, I just had to connect up the has auto combo part of update character update character commands off of this break f command details and I was solid at least on the blueprint part. The next part was the animation blueprint. Now with light punch being our main part we can use a lot of things. First off we our typical stuff for idle to light punch we want to have it to use has used command in the character state to equal no act, meaning if we aren't moving, then light punch goes. The sort of safeguard just in case you end up doing directional attacks instead if you accidentally press on one of the arrow keys. Now, going from that, if we by default, if you just simply do light punch, we have our typical rules of automatic rule based on sequence being true and end attack transition for the star attack transition from that. And star attack transition is also in, in the idle to light punch transitioning. So let's get back to the auto combo part. With the auto combo, it's an easy enough transition. We have a start transition event of star attack transition, and of course, our has used command stuff, but we also want to have the auto combo level equal to 1 for this part of auto combo 1. And of course, you want animation in there too. Doesn't matter all too much of what animation you use as long as it has three different little uh, anim notifies of started, active, and ended. Then going from auto combo 1 to auto combo 2, it's the same deal but this time using 2 because it's the second part of the auto combo. And of course once that is complete it's the same rules as all going from going from all attacks back to idle. Automatic rule based is true, and end attack transition is our start transition event. Now, of course, we also want to have that for auto combo one two, just in case we decide to stop at that moment. And with that, that is pretty much the base, that is pretty much it. Now going into gameplay, 
it's a bit easy enough. Go in to learn and versus practice like always so you can get a sense of the hitboxes. Always choosing Adam Mortem. And then going in, if we keep pressing the uh, light punch attack, you'll see we do a different attack per part of the combo. Of course, there are some issues with the regards to the throwing happening sometimes whenever I spam. And with that, that is pretty much it. And that is pretty much easy enough. And with all of that, that is going to be it for the fighting game framework improvements for this week's Funlog Friday slash Showcase Saturday. As always, I don't really have a script used for this. It's, so do I do hope you can forgive me for being a little long in the tooth at times. Now, credit again goes to Sean LeBro for all of his tutorials. They have been pretty amazing. I'm quite happy with what this week has brought me to the table. Now, it's getting a little bit closer to what I've seen in games like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and even Mortal Kombat 11. And with all that... I, I'm going to leave that there until next week. I've been Herogon, you've been you, I hope you enjoyed this little fun log, and I do look forward to seeing you guys tune in next time. Goodbye everyone.